with how the tariffs are affecting his industry is Casey Guernsey. He's from Americans for Farmers and Families and is a seventh generation dairy and beef farmer. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. What, which of your products are going to face tariffs, if any, and, and, and how high would they be? Well, uh, so we're in the beef business in my family, and Mexico is uh, one of our top uh, sources for our, our products to be uh, marketed, and we can't afford to lose that market whatsoever. Um, if, we, if we see that, it's only going to cause more beef to go on the American market, which is going to further push our prices down. And the Chinese market as well is going to affect our beef products. Um, I think in Missouri, there's a... Uh, but by how much of a price? Can I ask you, like, have you got a per head cost? How much is your uh, you know, product going to go up in cost and therefore lead, I presume, to lower sales? Well, I don't know per head. I, I can't say that. I do know that it's going to go uh, up to, I think, 20 percent, and in China, uh, 25 percent. And in terms of a dollar figure for the state of Missouri, I was reading today, that's going to cost our producers $138 million in one year, that duty, and the Chinese duty alone. And that's a big number, particularly since on the farm we're in the, at the 16th lowest year for income this year. So we can't afford any increase in price. I mean, uh, the, the difference between making money and losing money per head sometimes is just a couple of dollars. And whenever you're looking at duties like this, it could make or break the operation. We know that in the beef industry, we're seeing our customers, our farm's customers, already selling off their breeding stock. And that has long-term implications, not just for their farm, but for ours and for the entire community, because rural communities are dependent on agriculture. It's their lifeblood. Casey, you just said that, so you were reading today it was going to cost $138 uh, million. Has there been any cost that you yourself and you and your family, uh, uh, the farmers, have felt already? And what do you expect it to be when tariffs come into play in the next 24 hours? Yeah, I mean, for our operation alone, we had uh, plans to build a new barn. Um, that is now going to be far too expensive this year, and I would say that a big part of that is a, a result of the uh, steel tariffs making the uh, costs and uh, for building barns, specifically in our case, to be just too expensive. So, can if I go back to this 138 million number, I'm, I'm assuming so. There's going to be tariffs imposed on cattle, and as a result, they would rise in cost by 138 million dollars for the state, well, that's, correct? That's not losses, the, that is the higher cost, and then you assume there are losses because presumably people buy fewer of them. Right, yes, and uh, that is for the, the state of Missouri, and I don't think that's specifically just beef. I think that's our agricultural products um, as a whole that would that go to China specifically. Um, and that doesn't count, you know, our our uh, trade with Canada and Mexico, which are our two largest trading partners that we're now seeing uh, risk even further, especially in the beef industry with, with Mexico. That's really scary stuff, um, specifically in Mexico. Okay, Casey, we'll leave it there. Thanks for joining us. Casey Guernsey uh, joining Thanks. us.